try and make sure my face is in focus today because so many times it is not. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Oh my goodness, it is Monday. Four days to Christmas. <laughs> um, I've not got my hat on today because I've washed my hair and it's wet and I've put it up and I don't feel like taking it down to put it back up again to finish drying because it's a bit humid again here, a bit humid again here today. Not terribly hot in temperature but humid so it's a bit sticky. Anyway, I've had a kind of a slow morning. Yeah, a slow morning. It's 10.30 but I'm showered, dressed, I've had breakfast, I've done the dog's breakfast, done a lot of washing, I've just hung it out. What else have I done? Just tidying in the in the in the laundry, putting some towels away. I've still got a few more things to go, but most of the towels have been folded and put away, dealt with. It's that kind of thing I put, tend to put off all the time. And fortunately, I didn't feel well enough to take the doggies out for a walk. They really could use it. Coda's barking a lot, and I went, thought, why is he barking a lot? I thought, oh, it's because he hasn't had any proper exercise for a bit. This my John is very achy today, and with this humidity. Not a good combination. We'll see. I feel better even maybe this afternoon because it's not going to be terribly hot. Maybe I could take them out later on. Even just drive down and do a short walk would be good. <laughs> it's frustrating. Because I really, I missed like we were doing a few, a few weeks ago. We were doing so good. And I haven't had really bad, bad, bad days. Just not great. And kind of have to conserve, you know, what I do have for getting some housework done and whatnot. Like today I really need to clean the kitchen, it needs a clean and the floor needs a vacuum. <sighs> the way things to do. Anyway, I'll, I'll put dog walk on my list and we'll see if we can tackle it, even a small one, sometime. Mm. I'll get more housework done so tomorrow I've got, I can get for the walk and if that's all I do, that's all I do. Uh, just need to get it organised for Christmas still this week, finalise a few things. Obviously, because of the wonderful COVID numbers in Sydney, uh, our Christmas Eve thing is off. So, and then, so I've just got Christmas morning now. And I worry if the and Dan's still over Christmas Eve, I think, and we'll still get the pizza. And um, I've got a Christmas game, maybe we can play that and give them the Christmas jammies and stuff. And then we've got Christmas morning with them, Christmas lunch with mum and dad, Boxing Day lunch with mum and dad. And Thea and Dan, if it works out. Thea's being very, very careful not to expose herself to the virus at all. So, I think your mum and dad are fine by the weekend. I just don't know the exact period of time. Like, you read seven days, sometimes they say it's the incubation period shorter, but then you have to quarantine for 14 days still in Australia or isolate for 14 days. So, maybe it's <laughs> different here. Hmm. <laughs> Um, but I know we've still got it really fairly lucky in Australia, maybe not North Sydney, maybe not Sydney. Although Dad told me we're included in the Greater Sydney area, so I don't know. Not that it will affect us too much because with just the family we're still under 10. Hmm. But I know so many people's Christmas are way, way worse. Some people have lost someone this year, or more than one person. <laughs> They've lost family members and friends this year. Some people can't afford anything much this year because their income has gone to zero. So I know we're really lucky and that's what I don't get. I don't think most people, we watch a lot of international news and know what's going on around the world. So I, I think we appreciate a bit more how good it is and just like small sacrifice like not going to a family lunch. But you know, it would have been lovely to see my cousins and my auntie and catch up, but it's just, it's not, it doesn't seem right to us, I think, because, because so many people are doing it so tough. Anyway, I'm going to cup of tea, I'm going to sit and write my to-do list, um, and yeah, I'll check back in with you a bit later on, and we'll try and get some things done. Oh, I'll show you the spa room, because we did do that yesterday, Kevin and I, once they had been and sorted through the boxes. Needs a clean now. But look at this, the spa is, well, I've got to take a look through the kitchen. That's, I don't know if you guys could remember what it was like, but it was like 
a big mess. So that's the box of Christmas decorations. Thea just said to put in her room for her to sort through, so I'll do that. She nearly took my containers, but I want them. And therefore, yeah, pretty good in here. Just needs, you know, leaves and stuff. Needs a good clean. Okay, puppies, back inside. Poor dogs do not understand why they can't go outside, but not with them holes of dirt out there. And you can see you've got dust, big dust bunny piles on the floor from two fluffy goldens. So I should try and give them a brush today as well and vacuum. <laughs> There's always something to be done in the kitchen. It's a bit of work, but it's not too bad. But I want to give it a clean. Okay, it's after 12, so you guys know I've been having a great morning. But I am going to spend, well, I don't know. Let's say that it's, okay, it's 8 past 12. I'm going to work in here to half past 12. See if I can get tidy and a bit of cleaning done. Really shouldn't take long. So I think I'm just going to try and do it. Just do little bits throughout the morning. Well, throughout the afternoon. Missed the morning. Well, I mean, I did do bits and pieces, just not very much. So let's see if we can get the jobs done that I wanted to do today. And we should be able to. I'm, I don't know. I do feel a bit better. So I'm sure we can make it work. we we'll get the kitchen cleaned, floors vacuumed, and maybe the bathroom done. A little bit of ironing. I'd be happy if I can get all that done. That might be too ambitious. We'll, we'll just have to see, I guess. <laughs> we also need to fill up the dog food, so. Oh, where do we start? I don't know. I guess I start by clearing this off.
Sorry, trying some avocados. Go for another run. Get some exercise before we go have lunch. Come pop ups. Go for a run. No, not that way. Come on. Come up here. Leave the neighbor puppies alone. There's flowers in there. Coda. You're bumming all the photos. Is that tasty stuff, is it? I hope it's good for puppies. <laughs> Don't you want to go for a run today? All right, we'll go for a run later on. We'll bring the ball out and play. Come on. That my mom and I did while my dad was out getting the Christmas tree was that we would get the Christmas lights out and we plug the. <laughs> newest thing <laughs> I think I told you the other day I was watching like um, overhead drone videos and stuff and landscape things I've now discovered walking videos or walking like walk with me kind of videos <laughs> where they walk around London or I watched one today I only half watched them they're just in the background like they're just on the big TV so this one was just looking at window displays in London Christmas lights and stuff. I'm trying to watch for the Christmassy ones, but normally they just walk around and you see the people. Oh, I'm really enjoying these. I didn't even know they were a thing until the other day. <laughs> Definitely a cool thing to have discovered at this time where we can't go many places and we certainly can't travel over to London. And I've actually got a few for Disney as well. Not, I haven't found a Disney World one yet, but I've got a Disneyland one. Um, I think it's just walking around downtown Disney and I found a walk around Disneyland from the last Christmas so I'm gonna well that's in my in this list as well but and I watched a beautiful one today I was just walking around a rainy day in London walking along the canal and it was just beautiful it was so stunning and I was just saying to Christy I realized why I like this so much that's exactly what I kind of do I don't film the whole walk but if you guys have been here for a while you've probably gone on a few walks 
kind of exploratory walks as I would call them. I've done, I walked around the Botanical Gardens a few years back. I've gone for an exploratory walk in Cairns when Kevin was at work. Because usually I come away, but Kevin's at work. So I'm by myself. So Kevin wouldn't like this kind of thing. But I love it. I love doing it myself and I'm really enjoying watching them. And I think that's because it's what I like to do. Where else have I done? I'm just trying to think. I did one when we went to Shore Harbour. I went for a walk, a walk around the area. Went for an explore. Didn't just stick to the you know main walking track or whatever. Yeah, so I do enjoy doing this kind of thing. And I've done it like in Alaska. Kevin went zip lining. And I went for a walk around the town. It's one of my like my special memories. I had such an awesome time. Because I can explore, I can stop when I want to stop, take photos and video, and I just discovered like the back streets. I think it was where was it? Oh, I can't think of the town. Somewhere you can only fly in and out of. It's escaping me now. Before I come to you later on. Or you can go by boat, obviously we're on a cruise. Mm. No, it's not coming to me right now. But yeah, it's one of the things I really like to do. But it's not Kevin's cup of tea, because she said that wouldn't be her cup of tea either. So let me know. Is that the kind of thing you guys like? If that's something you guys like to do, let me know. There's so many of us there who like to do exploratory walks, and Chrissy says she has to have a destination in mind. And I think Kevin's a bit the same, because I found that up in we're up in Byron Bay. I just wanted to go for a drive and just explore and see what we found. And Kevin wasn't more comfortable with that either so it must just be something that's either in you or not <laughs> which is funny because I'm a planner I like to plan my holidays but I can explore I can have a day of exploration by a car or um walking I really have the worst memory I've just started doing the vlog from where are we the 19th and I'm putting in my declutter part my dear, when I did the Christmas declutter, because you guys haven't seen it. And I'm going, hmm, I got to this part I'm going, I have a funny feeling I've redone this or edited this. And yes, look, there I have. It's all edited. So, well, that's cool. I can just now plop that into the video. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe that. I'm glad I realised. I would have wasted probably an hour or so um, editing that part of the video. Because that's, these sort of ones are more time consuming to do these dogs think it's dinner time and it's getting there i guess but they've still got half an hour to go <coughs> no bailey you're rude you're, can you see where the greediest ones are them greedy goldens bailey that's very rude <coughs> little bear he just come to give me nice kisses don't you bear <laughs> No jigsaw puzzling for me again today, it looks like. I didn't get done yesterday either. <laughs> oh, well, there will be time for that once Vlogmas finishes, probably. Anyway, yeah, it's certainly a bit of an undertaking. All right, I'm going to, the doggies want their dinner, but it's not quite time. I'm going to quickly try and vacuum downstairs because we've got big dust piles. I can't brush the dogs now because it's rained outside. I don't know when it rained or if it's still raining. Just a little sprinkle. You can see the dogs. Oh, it's still raining now. I can't even smell the rain. Usually you can smell it when it's... I know it's cooled down. But yeah. So, um... No dog brushes today. The kitchen's fairly tidy, the eggs are cooked, but yeah, you can see like dust, big dust bunnies. So I'm going to collect the dust bunnies and I'll just whip around downstairs with just a handheld one because my mother, other vacuum's upstairs. Oh, and dog water needs filled up as well, I can see. Yeah, I'll do that while they have their dinner, but I'm going to vacuum first. I'm going to vacuum first, Fuzzy. Big time. Not too many more days to go. First, that is crazy. Oh, that sounds nice. We've got mango cucumber today. What temperature is it? 100. And it's just boiled. It says cucumber. I can read from the back. Oh, well, let me smell it first. It's 
That's quite nice. Kogo's in looking for his ball machine again. <laughs> we'll come and play a ball machine after we do this, Koda. If only he would learn to put the ball back in the machine himself. What was it called? Mango cucumber. He says, cucumber takes a trip to the tropics with mango along as a tour guide. Cucumber takes a trip to the tropics with mango along as a tour guide. Each infuses the moment with their own famous trait. Cucumbers distinctly crisp coolness rulers with the vibrantly vibrantly juicy, sweet and tropical tones of mango. The epitome of summer refreshment. But it's going to be hot. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be like so hot, dude. Yeah, so this one's got apple rose hip shells, mango bits. Pineapple bits, papaya bits. It was chunky. Natural and artificial flavouring. And it's got kiwi, cornflower petals, rose petals, and sunflower petals. So it's starting off a very, very um, pale tea. Okay, let's watch this ball machine done, Kevin. I know. Go to bear. We'll be with you soon, darling. Poor boy. Hello, brown dog. <laughs> You're moving, Kevin. You always sit far away from me. Hello, brown dog. Come up, up here. Yeah. <laughs> People can see your snout. There's no colour in this tea at all. Cucumber mango. Cucumber's always not going to have any colour. And you're not supposed to do this. What, what are you doing? Why don't you play with it? Such a child. Okay. I think we've got any comments. We do have some. It smells alright. We do have a few. I saw some today. One I wanted to answer. Right, Julie says, you talk of downsizing, um, when you make the move to downsize, will you still remain living in Wollongong so that you can stay close to your parents or would you ever consider moving to another town or state? That's kind of the million dollar question. We, um, we don't know where we want to go after this, do we? No. So, we really don't want to, no, no, we really don't know. Mum's already asked or Dad's already asked about them moving Sort of with us when we move like nearby or whatever but dad also doesn't want to leave he doesn't want to move too far from his brother who lives in north sydney so he can play golf. so he can play golf with him so maybe i'll play golf with him too they may not move with us because he sounds pretty de determined he's not going to move like we would look at we've talked about moving to canberra at least for a trial period um We've talked about, you know, Southern Highlands. I'm going to move the camera down. You can't. You get us and the tea in. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Here you go. Because when they're puppy snout. Oh, just to get Kino in the video. Come on, puppy. Kino, puppy. He's busy now. He's playing. He's licking Fuzzy's mouth. Kino, puppy. No, it's a funny angle. Now people can see a puppy. I think they've seen the puppies before. You're the funny boy. All right, we're done now. Now you. I know, because. Why did you move it? Want to move it back? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Okay. No, you lost my train of thought now. We were thinking of Canberra, but we don't know. Um, it's difficult while I still have a job because as much as I oh, should yeah, to work from not, anywhere. We're not really looking at moving probably for another number of years. No. We're sort of saying. But we, always, we thought we'd stay here, and the plan is sort of stay here at least till Christy finishes school. So she's got another three years, I guess, at uni. So I guess we've got at least three years. Before we just, we, years just already gone. Cause we kind of did like four or five years, and a year's just gone already. <laughs> just crazy. Those three, four years are going to go quick. Yeah, but it just depends. We might just say, we'll wait, stay here till Kevin retires. But yeah, the plan was, well, the thought was for mum and dad to, oh my gosh, code a bit. Ball. he's desperate for a play was for mum and dad to move because obviously you 
I think Dad was thinking if Dad dies first, then Mum will be on her own, and if we're next, nearby, we can look after her. Honestly, I think they should be looking at going into um, a retirement village myself. Yep. Um, I want to move into a retirement village. I don't think we're really ready for it quite yet. As long as we can park the motor home. But they're, they're small. They're yeah. really small, Kevin. I don't think we're quite ready for it yet. I mean, maybe an estate, maybe because there are some that have a bit of land and some of your big house, like the ones in the Highlands have really big. They're quite like three or four bedroom homes still, which I don't want when we no. <laughs> move from here. And that's in a, like a, a retirement centre, but they would be way beyond dad budget. <laughs> Think, but you can't see it. He's standing at the dog throw, the ball throwing machine. Looking at it, he's already got a ball in his mouth that <laughs> doesn't fit in the machine. But what a funny dog! Poor Sorry. puppy. He's funny. Um, yeah. So who knows? I don't really know. But that was really what it was, wasn't it? With mum and dad would yeah. go with us. So. So we don't know. <laughs> that was the plan, but I don't think if your dad's not prepared to move other places, another place up the north coast from here, which is like a couple of hours north of Sydney. And it looked quite nice because we have been looking at where we might go. This is a retirement place that um, they had a big parking area for motorhomes and stuff. And they, I don't that, think we're going to leave here for five years yeah, or so because yeah. I'm going to still be working and it's too expensive. Even though this house is now too big, it's yeah. too expensive to move. You pay a fortune in stair duty. Um, it's yeah. just expensive to move. We, we can probably just shutter off parts of the house and not have to worry about it. It's kind of already done, it's I guess, upstairs. It's probably cheaper and easier. And so when can, he retires, you'll have be able to help me more with the housework, because like we can just get ben, borders in, renters. I was going to say renters. You would not want to share. Well, you, you've had enough of sharing our house, Kevin. Why I'm are you not, even saying I that? Don't, I don't want randoms. <laughs> and not I'm people the that deep. we knew. Just a her dog. Watch out! Don't bump my arm. I don't know. I think that'd make a nice iced tea. It certainly has flavour, but I don't know if it's good. That's not bad. Something I wouldn't drink. I think it would make a nice iced tea. Oh, oh my gosh, can I? Oh my god, there's dog between us. <laughs> Pushing my elbow. Everyone, we've got to be quick today. Everyone wants attention. Coda's still sitting <laughs> at the ball machine. I've been at work all day from 7 o'clock I got to work. And that might be all the questions you've got for now. We don't have, no one wants to know anything else. Someone said, enjoy my nog. Who said yeah. that? It's there. Honeybee. Honeybee. I have enjoyed my nog, except the Bundaberg one wasn't nice. It was too rum flavoury. And while I like rum, and I used to like rum, I like rum now, it was too strong. So normal nog is the best nog. Oh, someone, a uh, well, normal, not normal, um, has left a comment. And it's part of that. It says, what, looks like you guys get a wide variety of breads in your supermarket. What is your favourite kind of bread? Turkish bread. <laughs> is that your favourite kind? Or sourdough. I like sourdough as well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I like just plain white bread from Baker's Delight. Whereas I like a, a grainier bread. Depends on what it's with. The only thing I prefer, yeah. If I was yeah. going to have, I like, bring up the vegan discussion again. I like cold cut ham on buttered toast that's just but it's got to be plain toast and banana on toast can it should be plain toast the question was what's your favorite kind of bread I know we're talking about breads <laughs> and then jam oh my gosh. the grain <laughs> toast is how long am I going to be here for while you discuss every kind of food it's, that you have on toast it's different when you dip it in you soup it. you need turkish bread or sourdough sourdough is good for soup do you want to hear my bread answers <laughs> it's not a simple answer I pretty much like all bread. I've always loved yeah. bread. Bread's complicated. I like on the cruise ships when they give you the rolls with all the pumpkin seeds and mm. the chunky seeds on yeah. them. They're nice. Yeah, like ciabatta's nice. The ciabatta roll's nice. Yeah, so we we pretty much do like all the breads. But I yeah, like we tend bread, to just grain bread. I like the sesame seed bread. I like the poppy seed bread. I like the no seed bread. <laughs> I like right. bagels as well. You're right. Are these all breads? Yeah, pretty much all breads. We like because we have quite a variety in the freezer. Oh, right, we better go and pull Cody's line down now. Still in front of the, <laughs> the ball machine, so we might go play with him for a bit. This tea wasn't a winning tea. No, I think we have really nice ice. Actually, she might stick it back in there and let it cool down, and I'll have it cold later on. But what if I've got dog flu? Oh, have to... gosh, no, I think I'm going to have dog flu. That will see. <laughs> you can't call it dog flu. Kevin calls all things really strangely, and then eventually I 
start saying the same thing that he does like I just did then. We just poured tea all over the table. Well, that's great. Do you want me to pour yours in too? Yep, I think they're nice and cold. Well, I'll take this out. No one can even see what we're doing. Why don't you take it to the kitchen and do it? No, I'm doing it here. Oh it's got to come out. I'll leave it to it. I'm going to go and I'm play making a mess. with Huda. That's why I said go to the kitchen. My little boy camped out by his ball machine. You're a funny one, honey. Yeah, this is all our Christmas stuff. <laughs> well, Kevin actually decided he's not going to finish his project here. Yay. So, we, not yay that he's not going to finish, but yay that we can tidy this up. And this is mainly Christmas stuff. <laughs> Let's just put it there. So, encode the ball machine. All right. Let's play the ball machine for a little bit, all right? Not that you're very good at it. You don't have to get a different ball, you need small balls for that. I'm going to stand back. Stand back. He stands in front of us, we'll have to lift it up. Did Kena get it? Get back, get back, get back. We could probably hit Kevin, he's still sitting at the table. Come on, you've got to put it here, Kino. Oh, 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 Kino, get the ball for me. <laughs> got away from me then. Come on, Kino's got to... Come on, someone come and put the ball. Oh, I tried that, darling. I was more interested in the ball than the treat. Where do you go? Move back, move back, move back. We're going to do doubles. Move back, move back, move back. No, this is what happens. You try and catch it. Move back. You missed it. Move back. Move back. Hold on. It's your cheat. Move back. Oh, <laughs> you were in the snail. Wait, right, move back. Move back. You're a cheater. Move back. You have to see from this point of view as well. Come on, put it in. Give up your ball. Put, he knows where it's got to go. Coda. He knows. Come back here. He knows. We need the ball ball. Come on, Coda. Good boy. He knows just drops it in your hand. <laughs> Good boy. He just drops it in your hand. Oda, you can't chase the ball. Come on. Oh, it's a video on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Daddy's going to play as well. All right, we'll just do one ball then. Oh, Daddy got it. <laughs> Not for Daddy, is it? Oh, oh that's so fun, Daddy. <laughs> Spoiling the fun of the puppies. No loser.
where I'm supposed to fit into bed tonight. And she always seems to have taken my new pillow. <laughs> Is it going to be a spot for me? You're a nice spot. <laughs> it was going around the circles trying to find where we wanted to lie. Then he took my new pillow.